This Keller Lane Living segment is sponsored by John Crane Gallery and Custom Framing in Hill City. John Crane leads a pack of artistic visionaries whose work is showcased in the gallery. This is the time of year when Mother Nature opens her arms and invites travelers from all over the world to visit the Black Hills. It's also the time of year when memories for a lifetime are created. So it's only natural that John Crane, one of South Dakota's most prolific and awarded watercolor artists, has chosen to capture so many of the jewels of the Black Hills in his works. And there is no better place to see Crane's work, as well as the work of other Black Hills artists, than at John Crane Gallery and Custom Framing in Hill City. After one look, either in person or online, you're going to want one of those memories in your own home. Induction to, into the Hall of Fame is really about his 46 years of being an artist and his preservation efforts behind his art. John Crane has been painting for 46 years and with his talent he has been using that to um, preserve some local gems that we have here in the Black Hills that has really upkept memories that the Black Hills offers us as a community. Kind of a gypsy at heart, and we do spend about half the year on the road. I've whole, heard it many times over the years that people feel a sense of peace, of well-being through it. John Crane has painted numerous um, areas around the Black Hills and with that the Mickelson Trail all of the proceeds from his sales go to the Mickelson Trail upkeep. There is a plaque of John's name on the Mickelson Trail to celebrate this achievement. Uh, a lot of his other preservation um, efforts are with local homesteads that are found in the Black Hills here and that keeps the strong timbers up so that we can enjoy the homestead just as much as John has in his lifetime. So John Crane is much more than just an artist. When we go into our homes and we see the Gold Mountain Mine on our living room wall or his images of Sylvan Lake or his paintings of the Meeker Ranch, we are contributing to his preservation efforts. With the type of work I do, it's rural country scenes. Started out working mostly with scenes in the Black Hills and then through the middle years of my career I did quite a few Amish places. You know, the Amish farms are like farms, it, it, what I envision farms to be. You know, they, they still have the old buildings, they still have chickens and pigs and so forth, so they look like real farms. So there's probably about a 10 year period that I did a lot of Amish farms uh, through the Midwest and some into the East. Uh, and over the last 10 years I've concentrated more on this part of the country. John Crane is an integral part in the Children's Home Society starting a benefit auction to help the kids and the society itself. He is also part of the Club for Boys and Realty for Kids. As an artist, John Crane has been able to capture nostalgic gems here in the Black Hills 
that really awakens memories of those places and allows us to tell our stories alongside John's. My favorite one is the next one. Uh, you know, often when I'm, I've worked many, many hours on a piece, I'm tired of it when I'm done with it. So I'm always looking forward to the next one. First of all is the photograph that I work from. And I generally only work from my own photographs. Uh, I'm there on the scene and I get a feeling for the scene. Now I did a piece uh, this last year of the old Spearfish Canyon Lodge. And that was 10 years in the making because it took me that long to run down photographs that were I was able to work from. It's just part of me. I, uh, if I'm away from it very long, I really get, uh, I'm not very happy. And uh, when I've been away from it for a while, I just can't wait to get back to it. When you go into your living room and you see pictures that John has painted of the Gold Mountain Mine or the Mickelson Trail or the Meeker Ranch, you know that you have contributed to his preservation efforts here in the Black Hills. If you want to know more about John's history and artistic journey, you would love Gail Crane's newest book, Mystic Travelers. I was lucky enough to get started in a really good time when the arts were really out in the forefront. Uh, I'm not sure the younger people have quite the opportunity that I had. Show your work everywhere you possibly can. You know, you're not going to sell it if people don't see it. And the most important thing, I think, is perseverance. Just don't give up. Join us this summer and celebrate John's induction into the South Dakota Hall of Fame for not only his fine art contributions, but his preservation efforts. John is painting at the top of his game with some of his most detailed pieces ever. Come see the original Horse Thief Lake, Prince, released in July. the John Crane Gallery and Custom Framing at 256 Main Street in Hill City, South Dakota. If you're interested in a specific piece, you can call them at 605-574-4440 or check out their complete selection online at johncranegallery.net. You can also order online. The shop is open Mondays through Saturdays throughout the summer season. This Keller Lane Living segment has been sponsored by John Crane Gallery and Custom Framing in Hill City. John Crane leads a pack of artistic visionaries whose work is showcased in the gallery.